Hey, it's Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax. Is the market crashing in 2019? So the simple answer to that question is no, the market is not crashing. That's a big no. Uh, the, the news media tends to make uh, mountains out of moles, molehills. You know, negative headlines get more traction than positive headlines. So they like to make everything seem a lot worse than what it actually is. So the market is definitely not crashing. But here is what's happening. So in 2018, at least here in Coral Springs for single family houses, what we saw was 8% more homes hitting the market compared to 2017. So if you look back over the last five years, this is the first year where we've seen an increase in the amount of new homes hitting the market. And 8% is not a small percentage by any means. So last year in 2018, we had 8% more homes on the market. We also at the same time had 3% fewer sales. So like anything, just like the stock market, it's all based on supply and demand. So 8% more homes hitting the market, 3% fewer homes selling, that's creating a downward pressure on pricing. So if you go back to the beginning of, of 2018, everyone was saying, oh my God, you know, we, we need to get pricing under control. The market's going up at such a crazy, crazy rate, six, nine, 10% a year. That's crazy, it's unsustainable. That's gonna cause a market crash. Well, here we are at the beginning of 2019, and you know, we kind of, the real estate gods answered our prayers. So if you're a buyer, there's more homes now to choose from. So if you were discouraged over the last couple of years by a, a limited amount of inventory, there is a little more for you to choose from, which is a good thing for you. If you're a seller, you just have to price your property to sell. Gone are the days of being able to take the highest sale in the neighborhood, add 10 or $15,000 and put the home on the market and expect to get that price. It's just not happening. What I'm telling sellers this year is your home has to be PTSI, price to sell instantly. So you gotta look at the market and you have to say, okay, here's where the sales are, let's price it at where the previous sales are and that's what's gonna make buyers say, okay, this is priced correctly, I wanna come in here and take a look at it and here I'm still seeing multiple offers on my listings this year when they are priced at where the market is saying these homes will sell for. You know, you know the sellers who still wanna come in there and add $20,000 worth of negotiating room or fluff to their list price, those homes are gonna sit on the market a lot longer. So sellers, you know, let's be a little bit more uh, accurate with where we're pricing our homes. Let's price them to sell and the buyers are gonna respond in kind and they're going to give you the offers that you're looking for. So no, the market is not crashing. Things are just taking a little bit longer to sell. It's a more normal market, which is good for everyone, buyers and sellers. Uh, we're not going to see, in my opinion, I'm, I'm, if I could give a forecast, we're not going to see the 6, 7, 8% growth in home prices this year that we were seeing over the last couple of years. I think we're going to be much more towards a normal market, around 3%, 3 to 4 in home price appreciation, which is still high on average. You know, the, uh, Historically, you're looking at between 2 and 3%, so it's still high but it's nothing crazy so you know that's good news for buyers it gives them somewhat of a relief uh, from the super super high prices that everyone's been seeing over the last couple of years uh, and those crazy bidding wars and all that kind of stuff so I uh, hope that answers your question on what's going on in the market here in 2019 it's definitely not crashing don't sound the alarms don't freak out don't sell your home you know you know fire sale it because you think you're gonna lose all this money that's not happening everyone just is a little bit more picky about what they're buying and the prices that they're buying it for so again I hope that answers all your questions if you have any questions about you know what your home might be worth if you're thinking about selling or if you're thinking about buying give me a call let me know how I can help you out I'd love to give you all the information that you need so you can make an informed decision thanks so much for tuning in have a great day